Hi, you are on the Image Game channel. In this video I will tell you about 20 new RPG games from the third person that deserve attention. The first one is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, a game based on the manga of the same name, but this is the case when it is not necessary to be familiar with the original source in order to enjoy the game. The game is made in the action RPG genre with all the consequences, levels, upgrading skills and stats third-party activities and additional quests. We are given five heroes under control, each with their own abilities and transformations. Later you can choose for whom you want to run at the moment. In terms of atmosphere, everything is done chic, it's just nice to be in the game. The fighting deserves special mention, which is presented very spectacularly, and the techniques are performed very brightly and colorfully. Xian Yuan Sword 7 Chinese fantasy RPG with normal localization. This is a soulful adventure of a brother and sister through a world filled with diseases, wars, and monsters. The game is well immersed in Chinese culture, history, and mythology. There is a solid visual and sound design. In some places the game resembles an interactive movie. The gameplay might be a little disappointing for action fans, as there are a lot of cutscenes with minimal interaction, and you will have to wait about an hour before free gameplay, during which we are introduced to the characters, the world world around us and teach the basics. The world is large and open, but limited by corridor locations and the linearity of the passage. You can move on foot or through special teleports, and save only in certain places. New World the best third-person MMORPG sandbox game of all time. Very beautiful world with excellent physics of fights. Running and looting chests is not stressful. The lack of localization is not critical, since you understand a lot intuitively. Plus there are convenient markers on the map and tips. Perfect for PvP-oriented players. Fighting here is interesting and there are new mechanics. In general, the game is interesting, but dampness is still felt in places. At times this spoils the feeling of the game. Uniformity, linearity, and a short plot. However, the developers are fixing and patching their jams, slowly fixing the situation with content and bugs, and the game is developing. Walong Fallen Dynasty action role-playing game from the Koei Tecmo Publishing House and the Team Ninja Studio, known for two parts of Nile and the Dead or Alive series. The plot of the game is focused on China of the Three Kingdoms era, and the authors add notes of dark fantasy to historical events, dragons and other mystical creatures will appear here, and players will be able to use supernatural abilities in addition to conventional weapons. The script of the title will tell about a militia soldier who has to go from an unknown fighter to a legendary hero. The gameplay will offer a deep, furious, and feature-rich combat system. The developers definitely know this. Just look at their track record. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 The fourth part of the adventure of the Straw Hat Pirates came out quite well. Compared to the third part, the gameplay has undergone minor changes. So, the set of attacks has become more diverse, more attention has been paid to air battles, and giant characters have appeared, and they act not only as enemies, but also as game characters. Otherwise, the developers did not experiment, leaving the main feature, spectacular combat system, in place, adding content, a larger map with destructible environments, and tightening the graphics. You can play for those people who are not familiar with the original source. The plot almost completely retells all the events of One Piece. Tales of Arise, a new part of one of the most notable JRPG series, only Final Fantasy and its eternal competitor Dragon Quest are more popular. The plot takes off on the planet Dana, which 300 years ago was enslaved by the more technological people of Renian. As a result, the territory was divided into five parts and put at the head of each of the Lord. A fairly simple plot, which is difficult to surprise. Danian got tired and decided to rebel, and the main character is expected to be in the center of events. The game changed the engine and received a slightly modified combat system. The graphics are clearly prettier. The game looks very modern. The combat let us down. In the previous parts it was more interesting to fight. The world is a set of levels consisting of narrow or wide corridors with small dead ends. All in all, as the first game in the franchise for a new fan, it should go with a bang.
Yakuza Like a Dragon. The new part of the Yakuza for the most part retained the main components of the previous parts, but at the same time brought a lot of new things to the series. This is turn-based combat, and a new protagonist, and a new location. The game can give odds to most films and series in terms of epic plot, sophistication, and atmosphere. As already mentioned, the combat is turn-based, with a choice of actions for each member of the squad. You can use different skills for mana and items. Each character has a large set of characteristics, resistances, unique abilities, and professions. In addition to fighting, the gameplay is a bit like a simplified version of GTA. We run around the city, complete fun additional tasks and buy weapons. Bloody Spell Chinese Dark Souls only with slasher combat, ancient Chinese atmosphere and fan service. There is no expensive production with beautiful cutscenes, but the action is very peppy and addictive. There are combos, different fighting styles that depend on the chosen weapon. There is pumping, various equipment, and unique bosses. They are quite complex and in battles with them you have to fidget in your chair. One passage takes about 6 hours, after which you can start a new game plus. Scarlet Nexus. This is the rare case when expectations were not met, because everything turned out to be much cooler than you imagined. A fairly typical RPG in almost all of its aspects, but its main difference is in the spectacular and active combat that does not let you relax. There is a wide variety of abilities that you really like and want to use. Each partner gives something different, and with the pumping of relations, the possibilities will only increase. The game should be completed twice once for each of the heroes a guy and a girl. The characters will overlap, but each will go his own way, which will give new locations, allies and answers to questions. Mount and Blade 2, Bannerlord. After the previous part, it will be unusual to play, but in general, all the changes are for the better. It's still a great sandbox with a lot more features added a huge amount of micromanagement. Now you really need to manage your lands, otherwise they won't even pay off. We added laws in the kingdom that you can lobby for or vice versa try to abolish, and many things have become more logical. Some new mechanics have also been added, such as the clan system and leveling up your clan, more convenient management of lords and the course of battles. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. The perfect game about collecting various monsters in a large open world. The battles are turn-based, not very difficult, but there is where to think if you want to get more loot. The plot is unobtrusive, there are cooperative attacks and an online arena. If cartoony graphics are not a problem for you and you are interested in the mechanics of collecting monsters like in Pokemon, then this game is for you. In our opinion, it is even more interesting than the recently released Rise on PC, but still it is best to play on the gamepad. Nioh 2 Many people compare this game with Dark Souls, but I will say that there are not many similarities. The combat is almost from there, but the game itself has no less elements of Diablo and Monster Hunter. The developers have collected a little bit of everything, polished and issued a fairly stable hybrid form, which is not shameful to spend 200 hours. I will especially highlight the pumping, which will be the envy of all souls combined. Buying a level for experience is only the first stage. There are 14 skill tabs, including 10 types of weapons, a tab for a werewolf and a samurai, a ninja and a mage plus unique skills that the character can learn from the bosses themselves. There are also abilities, guardian spirits, equipment bonuses, title bonuses, and clan bonuses. And the highlight is the character editor. It is so extensive that everyone can make their own unique hero. Outriders Global warming has finished off the Earth, and humanity decides to send a small number of lucky ones to the only planet found suitable for life. The plot is quite epic, rich lore. There is scope and intrigue, which does not let you get bored until the very end. It is worth noting the dynamic local battles. You are constantly forced to change tactics, close combat, ranged combat, and special skills. Attackers also have a constant rotation from fast and weak to slow and strong. 
Shooting everyone from behind the wall will not work they will simply throw grenades at you. Well, if you suddenly feel like a superman and get bored just increase the difficulty. This will add fire to both the keyboard and the nervous system. But you definitely won't be bored. A great option for co-op passage. Hellpoint. Role-playing action in a fantasy setting where we have to explore an abandoned space station and uncover the secrets of its past, fighting terrible monsters and forgotten gods. The plot is simple. Go explore, and when you find out everything, come back. Information where to go, and the story is given bit by bit. There are still a lot of questions after completing it, but in this genre, the gameplay itself is more important. The game is definitely for those who like to explore the levels, as the number of secrets here just rolls over. The weapon upgrade system is very interesting, and you can play the game in co-op, including on one screen, and there's a separate mode for PvP fans. Assassin's Creed Valhalla The series has been turning towards RPGs for quite some time now. Now here you can choose different heroes, collect resources for crafting, opponents have a level, there is a pumping of skills, and a choice has appeared in the dialogues. For some, this is a complete disappointment, for others, a breath of fresh air in a stagnant conveyor. Be that as it may, and the main advantage of the new part is that whatever you do in it, everything matters. Something will help improve the hub settlement, and open up new opportunities. Something will give a lot of experience. Something will tell a funny story. No boring camp and outpost cleanups. Just interesting content. By the third part of the conditional trilogy, the formula has developed so much that it is already difficult to say what is still missing in it. Asterigos, Curse of the Stars. Third-person action RPG set in a world inspired by Greek and Roman mythology. Players will take on the role of a young warrior who went in search of the secrets of a cursed city whose inhabitants have turned into terrifying monsters. To survive this adventure, Hilda will have to master a range of fighting styles, including sword and shield, dual blades, spears and hammers, as well as mastering magic through powerful staves and enchanted bracelets. LX2. This is an action slash RPG, the action of which develops on a planet with a futuristic setting combined with a medieval setting, and therefore, in addition to magic and melee weapons, the main character also uses a firearm and a jetpack. Otherwise, everything is familiar we explore a living open world, find out the relationship between the factions and try to restore the hero's reputation. The game corrects the mistakes of the first part, but its body is still woven from the company's previous projects, and this is not bad at all. Forspoken uses the classic hit-and-run storyline, where a New York girl is transported to a fantasy world oppressed by cruel sorceresses. Armed with newfound magical powers, the heroine enters into a confrontation with the villains in order to free the unfortunate inhabitants and find a way to return home. The game is criticized for average graphics and imperfect optimization, but it's not as bad as it might seem there is great parkour and exciting battles using a huge number of magic spells. Tower of Fantasy MMORPG for PC and smartphones Developed on Unreal Engine 4 and offering us to immerse ourselves in a fantasy post-apocalyptic world in the style of anime. Traveling through the wastelands, gamers will complete various tasks, collect loot, and craft equipment. The game features authentic physics, which is reflected in the gameplay. There are climbing, swimming, and jetpack flying mechanics. You can pick up and throw objects, set grass on fire, and enhance the effect of electricity with water. All this will be needed not only in battles, but also in solving numerous puzzles scattered around the world. Wild Hearts aims for its Laurel's Monster Hunter World is a co-op game about hunting giant monsters in a fantasy universe. The action of the project will unfold in the mystical feudal Japan, and the players will become hunters that are able to use the ancient art of pacifying monsters. The gameplay of the title promises to immerse gamers in a classic loop of endless monster killing, loot mining, and improving equipment to kill even more powerful monsters. All this with seamless co-op and cross-play. That's all. 
Thank you for watching up to this point. Your like and subscription will be the best gratitude. The Image Game channel was with you. Have a good day.